everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you what it's like to hike on the Tin Mine Canyon Trail here in Cleveland National Forest and the, I guess, suburbs of Los Angeles around Corona. Now, this is a fun trail because it definitely does not feel like the suburbs of Los Angeles. You have a beginning section that's on a wider dirt road. That's okay. It's whatever. But then once you get on the actual Tin Mine Canyon Trail, it feels like you are a world away. It's shaded, it's lush, it goes up along a creek, and uh, it feels like something I'd find more in the East Coast than I would here in Southern California. And also, as you might have guessed by the name and by this gated hole behind me, it's known for tin mining. And there's a couple of mine shafts you can see. And if you're interested in the history of the mines and a little bit of context for the hike, just go to hikingguy.com where I have a full guide for the hike, where I'll talk about the history a little bit and also give you parking directions and uh, everything else you need to know logistically to do the hike. It's about five miles, four and a half, five miles round trip and uh, negligible climbing, a little bit of climbing and a very family friendly one. Now, if you're liking the video, if you enjoy it, if you find it helpful, if you could do me a favor, as always, and just click a little thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. It helps other people find the video uh, and hopefully see it if they want to come out here and know what to expect when they hit the trail. All right, guys, let's uh, hit the trail, and I'll show you what this hike is all about. All right, so the hike starts uh, at the beginning of the Skyline Drive Trail, and there's some street parking, and again, I'll talk about that in the guide. But you're going to look for the sign right there. It's right by the bridge. And there's a water fountain and in the beginning it's a paved path uh, so it's a place where people are walking their dogs going on strolls it's along a residential area so just heads up but there are some cool things to see if you look off to your left there's some really cool eroded rock formations sort of reminiscent of uh, Torrey Pines or Annie's Canyon in the northern part of San Diego County we're going to follow the paved uh, path until it ends at the gate here where it turns to dirt and this is still the Skyline Drive here, but we're going to go up here, and that little notch up in the distance is actually Tin Mine Canyon where we're going. Now, the important turnoff is right here. When you come to this wide clearing, Skyline Drive is going to continue up to the right there, but the Tin Mine Canyon Trail is actually straight across there. And in the distance, you can see the trail board. So just head over there. Here's the trail board for the um, trail. Check it out, make sure there's nothing going on that you need uh, to bring your attention to, and then start hiking up Tin Mine Canyon. And you can see right away, it's a single track, it's lush, there's a stream that's usually dry here, but it does provide enough moisture for a bunch of the oaks and sycamores and shrubs that you have. There are some splits like this one uh, in the beginning where it can go right or left. You could do either one. Either one will get you to the same place. They all sort of join back together. And if you go straight, eventually we're going to kind of head off to the left. You can see there's another spur trail there, but we're going to head off to the left and join the main trail over here. And again, you, you can't go wrong on these trails, but there is one trail off to the side. And it's come up this hill. It's really faint. It's easy to go past it. But if you look up to the left, you can see a really faint trail over there. That's a connector trail to another trail, but it's also... Uh, goes up to a, a mine claim, the Owens mining claim, but I haven't found any mine shafts there. If you know of any, let me know. But otherwise, we're just going to continue up Tin Mine Canyon. There's a couple sections here. We have a bench, and then there's another couple benches as we go up, and the canyon starts to narrow. And right when the canyon narrows, you're going to look for this interpretive uh, display sign on the left. The display is not there anymore, but the mine is just back and to the left over here. It's easy to walk past if you're not paying attention. You can go ahead and look inside. This is what it looks like. Obviously, you're not really supposed to go in there. I know people do anyway, but this is what the mine looks like inside. And if you keep going further, you go up a little rise just past the last mine shaft. And if you look back up to the left here, you can see another mine shaft up on the hill over there. So pretty cool. I know there's a couple other ones around here as well, but those are the main ones. And then from here, we're going to keep on going straight to the end of the trail. And there are no more mine shafts, like I mentioned, but it is just very beautiful. You can see the walls of the canyon get narrower here. You're going to go back and forth over the uh, creek or stream bed a few times. And it's just a really nice, pleasant, quiet, and shaded uh, trail up here, unlike other hikes that you'd probably expect around Corona. You can see it definitely gets a little overgrown at points, so wear long pants. I'll talk about the gear you need on the website, but 
This is about as overgrown as it gets. You're going to cross the stream a few times. You can see there's a little bridge that somebody set up. Once you go over the stream at this point, you're just going to climb up the rocks, up the, follow the stream up, and then there's a trail end sign, and that's the official end of the trail. Here it is, and now you can continue to go further, and some people do, but it's also a area where there's a lot of uh, search and rescues, so I'd recommend just turning around uh, and calling it a day from here, and that's the hike. All right, here's the uh, 3D profile of the hike. Now, there's not a lot to it, but I'll just show it to you anyway. You can see the satellite photo uh, changes. These are two different satellite photos. That's why there's a line going through these trees. There's not actually a line like that in real life, but we'll go back down to the trailhead. Here's that bridge that I mentioned. The parking is along the street on either side. We're gonna go down this paved path, skirt along the residential area, this is where the dirt road starts, where the gate was. We're gonna follow the dirt road up. Here's that important turnoff. If you took Skyline Drive, which goes up to Beak's Place, um, it goes up this way, but instead we're gonna go down onto the path down here, which is actually the Tin Mine Canyon path. And this is Tin Mine Canyon right down here. And let me just angle this up so you can kind of get an idea. But we're gonna follow the canyon up and you're not gonna leave the canyon at all. You're just gonna go up. You can see it gets a little more narrow. Now, when you come around this bend, when you kind of do a sharper left-hand turn, we're gonna come up to the actual mines. And again, this, this color change is just from different satellite photos. But here's the mine shaft. And then just a little bit after that, you can see the mine shaft up on the hill. And then from there, we're gonna just follow this up as the canyon narrows, it gets more lush and this is the official end of the trail. Now, I mentioned earlier uh, not to go further. There still is a trail that goes up for a little while and goes up to around this point. Some people will go up and then uh, do some off trail and go all the way up to Skyline Drive, which is up here, and Beak's Place is up here. Uh, but also, again, uh, you know, I know there's a, a fair amount of rescues that happen around this place and trucks have to come up to the top and people come up and get rescued. It's usually teenagers or something who aren't really sure what's going on. But if you do decide to keep going up here, just uh, be careful and know where you're going and have the experience uh, and confidence to do it correctly. All right, guys, that's the hike. Definitely give it a try. And again, go to the website. There's an interesting history on the mine shafts and tin mining in the Santa Ana. So check that out as well. And I will see you out in the trails. Bye.